Good afternoon everyone. This is David with HeavenlyPups.com. Today is Wednesday, August 8th, 2012. I'm here with my little buddy, my puppy pal, Pee Wee. I was gonna, he's my little prancer. I, and the reason I didn't name him Prancer was because I thought I was too girly girl. Uh, and he's, a, he's my manly little man runt. So I named him Pee Wee because uh, he's got this awesome little beard coming in and he's just got this beautiful little coat and I'm gonna have a second part to this video where I'm gonna show you him prancing around for you but I just want you to know I've been working I work with all of my babies and you know a lot of people say oh my dog is a part of my family well they are part of our family too but I make sure they go to good homes and I want them to be well socialized so that when a person sees my puppies they're not they're very attentive to strangers and they're not standoffish so um, I've he used to bark at little bits of strangers and he doesn't anymore so I'm gonna start training him later this week to um, fetch me some sticks or either get me a little ball but he's so tiny I can barely get a ball to fit in his mouth so uh, one last thing before I let him uh, dance around for you is that a lot of people do a sporty cut, like a sporty trim on the Yorkies where they keep it like this puppy cut. But I like the show version. So I suggest to you, do however you want. If you ever get any any Yorkie pups from me, especially if you get Pee Wee from me. But I suggest, like what I do, is let the hair grow all the way down to the ground so in the wind it's like silky little furls um, uh, wisping in the wind. And I know that sounds really very fairy tale ish but you know that's just how it's gonna be it's your puppy uh, I'm sure you do however you want or if you got professional groomers but you don't need to do professional groomers all you gotta do is continue to follow my vlogs and I will show you how to do good cuts okay so see how see how his ears are see how his ears are really standing up that shows you a very smart and intelligent attentive dog and he's got Right now, I just put him down. I've been holding him, so let him warm up. But um, I just want you to see how he's attentive. He's watching me. He, we're at a park, so this is the first time he's been around a lot of cars that are going by. So if you hear the cars in the background, I'm sorry. I just we were playing, we were playing in the park, and basically, he's. I don't think he's used to this many car sounds. So he is a little bit out of his element, but it won't take long for him to warm up. And all my Yorkie pups are very intelligent. See how he's looking around? He's following me uh, where I go. I uh, see he's observing his he's observing his environment. And as soon as he does, boom, he's there, ready to start playing. And and he is he was this is also why I call him Pee Wee because he was the shortest and stocky little thing out of his brothers and sisters. And I just I almost want to keep him. I can't let him go because he's a part of my family now. But when you, when you get these dogs from us and you follow our blogs, I'm gonna have all these tips and advice and you can always continue to follow me. Even if you don't, you can learn. I have so much free information for you guys to learn from us. All I want you to do and all I'm here on the internet is to learn, have fun, and continue to build communities and, and, and grow with you guys. So you just gotta talk to your little babies and, and, and they, they will show emotions and they, they will, you know, they, they have emotions just like us. And, uh, you know, this is what I say, just because I have a degree in cultural anthropology and I've learned this about child development. A child that acts up a lot, gets out of line, is a child screaming for attention. When you have any kind of dog that is a very uh, obnoxious barking dog, it's because he or she is really reaching out for attention. And do you see how his ears are up? He's very aware, he's happy. He, he, it's because I show all the dogs that I have in my family a lot of attention. Because I think early on, socialization is very vital to making it the adult dog that it will become. And, and a, a, negl a neglected puppy uh, and the, when it comes to emotional neglect is going to be probably more of an aggressive dog when it eats I'm just talking about playfulness aggressive I'm not talking about 
mean aggressive. I'm just talking about showing uh, emotion when it eats or when it barks at strangers. But a smart dog is very observant and, and will display qu qualities that are good. Come here, Pee-wee. So see, see how he prances around? That's why we called him Pee-wee because he's just too manly for, for Prancer. Come here, come here, boy. And see, now, see how I call his name and he comes to me? He, he'll warm, it doesn't matter who he is. He'll warm up to anybody and it won't be long before you, you'll be able to say go fetch and he'll go fetch or say paw and he'll give me your paw. It just takes re repetition. Come here. See that? Yeah, boy. And he's gonna grow you a beautiful beard and you can continue to just trim up this beard or what I do, I like, I like my beards to grow long. He's gonna grow you a beautiful beard. He's got that short and mm. stocky apple head. Uh-oh. Well, I'm sorry, I gotta cut this broadcast short. We're at, the, we're at the park in the middle of the field, so we got a ways to go and I don't want him to get wet. And, uh, or my camera. So guys, thank you for following us. Continue to follow me at uh, dubstreasurestore.com and heavenlypubs.com. All right, once again, God bless and have a great day.